Call it any time, eh? Stand by for Titanfall. Good to have you back, pilot. All right, ladies and gentlemen, Baron here. So not too long ago, I was in Los Angeles, California. And for those of you who've been following me on Twitter and Instagram, you already knew that. And a lot of people were asking, hey, what, Baron, 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 what you doing in L.A.? But now I can finally tell you as the media embargo has gone down, I was part of the Titanfall 2 multiplayer tech test. And I had an absolute blast. Furthermore, the multiplayer tech test happened like a day before my birthday. So I thought of it as a nice little uh, little birthday present. But anyway, we're going to get into my experiences, what I thought about the game, kind of my experiences with first-person shooters in general, and what I thought of this game and how, you know, am I going to play it or not, right? So instead of me trying to do my ADD best and blather on about stuff, let's just watch this quick little intro, and then I'll hop right back in after and we're going to go over some of the highlights of what I got to experience. Me trolling people, me getting trolled. It's glorious. So I'll see you guys right after. Greetings, PS4 pilots, and welcome to the world of Titanfall 2. Thank you for joining our multiplayer tech test. We're asking everyone to help us stress test an early build of Titanfall 2 and our brand new networking backend to find all the issues before we launch on October 28th. We're all really excited to hear your feedback. This is only an early look at Titanfall 2 and includes only a small portion of the content that you will enjoy in the final release. Make sure and head to our forums at Titanfall.com to let us know what you think and thank you for your participation and support. For starters, we're giving you a look at two maps. Welcome to the dense urban streets of Boomtown and the open fields of Homestead. Each poses unique opportunities and challenges for both pilot and Titan gameplay. Today, we're giving you a peek at one of the brand new modes in Titanfall 2, Bounty Hunt. In this mode, you and your teammates are tasked with clearing the Remnant Field Ground units through three waves, earning a bonus for every kill you obtain. Between each wave, make sure and bank your bonus points to increase your team's score. At the end of each wave, the Remnant Fleet will unleash a Bounty Titan. Once on the field, you must defeat the marked bounty to earn a massive bonus. If you need a break from Bounty Hunt, we've also included a classic 8v8 mode, Pilots vs. Pilots, in order to put your pilot mobility and combat skills to the ultimate test. As a pilot, you are the apex predator, and your arsenal has been greatly expanded. New weapons include the L-Star, a rapid-fire energy assault rifle, and new abilities like the grappling hook take Titanfall's mobility to new heights. This is just a sample of what you'll have access to and as you progress and level up, new weapons and abilities will unlock to further expand the gameplay opportunities. So make sure to customize your loadouts and see what works best for you. And of course, we're letting you try out some of the brand new Titans. In Titanfall 2, each Titan now has their own unique personality, signature style, and exclusive core ability that needs to be earned plus a special weapon and set of skills that differ dramatically from the other Titans on the field. In this tech test, you'll get a chance to try out Scorch, a fire expert who controls battlefield positioning with his powerful Thermite, and Ion, a power and energy specialist with the ultimate core power, her massive chest fired laser beam. Finally, we're also very excited for you to try out our new network system. Networks provide a friendly place to hang out between matches and truly elevates Titanfall 2's social game. You'll be placed in a default network to start, but you can join others that better suit your social or gameplay style. Or if nothing feels like the perfect fit, you can create your own network for you and your friends. Well, that covers everything you need to know. Now get out there and dominate the enemy team. But most importantly, have fun and make sure to check out everything Titanfall 2 has to offer when we launch on October 28th, including our brand new single player campaign.
All right, so I think that was probably the best explanation. It was definitely more organized than I would have done if left to my own devices of the hyperactivity disorder. So, ladies and gentlemen, let me tell you a little bit about my experiences. Now that you kind of know what to expect from this video, I'm going to be showing you a little bit of gameplay from all the three game modes. There was Bounty Hunt, which was honestly my absolute favorite. Then there was Pilots versus Pilots. So, Pilots versus Pilots is pretty simple. It's basically player versus player. The pilots are basically the guys who drive the Titans, but this one is without the Titans. And I was like, oh man, I'm, I want to, I really want to, oh my god, I really want to play as the Titans because they're basically like what, walking mechs, tanks kind of thing, and tanks versus infantry is something I'm particularly a fan of. But it was actually a lot of fun, and that had a lot of it to do with just the customization of your character, the weapons you could use, your secondaries, your grenades, uh, power-ups and things like that that are non-Titan related. It was a lot of fun and damn did I love that pistol. That was so much fun for me personally. Um, but the mobility in this game was a lot of fun. Now that being said, I played the recent Call of Duty because like Slick liked to play it and I was just like, well like Slick like Call of Duty and I was like, this game is dumb because like Jumping around all like spacey and futury was kind of dumb to me, but in this game it feels appropriate. It feels fitting. But you'll have to pardon me because my first-person shooter experience goes back to like Halo One on the original Xbox and the first Call of Duty on the PC, where I could get a, a German Car 98 and counter snipe for days. Man, I tell you what, I could have been a pro probably in Halo One or Battlefield or Call of Duty One. But anyway, so yeah, I actually had a lot of fun in this because like the futuristic theme of it feels fitting. Now, I, I want to re reiterate this point again. I never played the first Titanfall, right? So I didn't know what to expect. After coming out of it, I know that I'm really looking forward to this game. And I find the Titan gameplay very, very compelling. And the pilot gameplay pretty damn fun and fast paced. But like pilots versus titans, titans versus pilots, and then this bounty hunt mode where you kind of have this AI faction that's like made up of grunts and specters and on occasion AI uh, piloted titans, which perform really well and really make it kind of fun. It's like you're in the middle of a huge battle and you're competing against the other player controlled faction to just rack up all this money and points, which is really kind of fun. Um, and then finally the third mode was domination and that was kind of typical capture a b and c points and you can you know level or like you can get exp what get up your points enough to where you get a titan so then there's titans running around and it's just freaking awesome and what i really liked another thing that i thought was pretty cool and i've never seen in a game personally is the fact that after a game would end you know like oh this team got to the max points or the timer went out and this team won it never just ended right there there was always this kind of time where an epilogue would happen and the losing team would have to get to a drop ship and the winning team would have to hunt them down and kill them all before they could escape or if they did escape so there was kind of like this bonus at the end and i thought that was pretty cool because i've never really seen that in a game before so like i said um there was a lot there was like 60 to 70 guys brought out by ea to respawn in la to play the titanfall 2 multiplayer tech test right and a lot of these guys like their bread and butter is fps games and i was like oh my god man i play war thunder i played about eight hours of the battlefield one uh alpha on my ps4 I mean, it's been years since I've really, really played like a competitive first person shooter, you know, and something on the scale of this and uh, in Battlefield 1. And I'm, I'm going to be pit, pitted in a room with all these like really, really veteran players. And I was, I was a bit worried, but you know, I tell you what, man, all those days back when I was a teenager playing Halo and, uh, and Call of Duty and then, you know, recently with Battlefield 1. I, I, I held my own, man. I made it very respectable, and I had some pretty damn good games, and that felt really good. So even for someone like me who hasn't like has FPS experience years ago, I got to hop in. Everything was pretty intuitive. I will tell you this though: some of my uh, aiming was pretty bad. I'm kind of streaky. If I like, if I get a little bit of momentum, man, I'm I'm feeling hot. 
I'm like that. I'm like that goal scorer in uh, soccer. That's like every now and then he'll score like three or four goals in a game. You know, I'm not really the guy who's like one goal a game consistent. I got my hot games and I got my average games, but it was it was so much fun and getting to meet a lot of people. I got to meet a lot of really cool people. I had met Nacho um, at a at Pack South a while ago, and I think he was the one who kind of put in the word for me to get you know to be brought out here. And I got to meet Stone Mountain Doom. Good game, bro. The twins from the Star Wars HQ cross. I mean, Level Cap was at the event. I think, I don't know if I ever killed him or he killed me. Like, everyone had these random names, you know, like that you, you didn't get to set your name. That would have been pretty cool to know who you were killing at all times and who was killing you at all times. There was this guy, Legion, there who, one game, he grappled me like three times. You can kill someone using your grappling hook. I found that out, <laughs> but I didn't really realize it till uh, watching the footage after the fact in making this video. And uh, there's a lot of times where like I'll get killed and I, I skip the replay because I want to get in the game. But it would have been it would have been cool to see the grappling kills um, in the replay. But that kind of brings up another point: is the grappling hook, the wall jumping, the moving around, sliding. It's really really epic. I thought it was very, very well done. I had a lot of fun doing it. Like, I could grapple onto enemy mechs. I could grapple, or titans, rather. I could grapple onto friendly titans. Um, that was kind of cool, like riding a titan almost like a horse, and you're a cavalryman on the top with your assault rifle shooting down at enemies while this titan is engaging other titans and other infantry. It's, it's pretty amazing. And um, I definitely didn't maximize, like, all the different power-ups. Um, and different, you know, kind of moves and abilities of my Titans. But the Titans, dude, that's really what this game is about. Obviously, it is called Titanfall 2, right? But we got to play two of them. There was one called Ion, who's kind of an energy-based um, Titan. And then there was Scorch, which uses fire. And even though fire's energy, you know, we won't get into scientific details. But I tell you what, the Titans were really, really cool. And I think there's going to be like five or six or seven of them. And then there's like one super Titan for single player. Like that you can customize in missions and he kind of gets to, gets to experience like all the different abilities. You know, depending on how you set them up in single player. And I guess that's one of the main things that Titanfall 2 has over Titanfall 1 is they've got a single player experience. So once again... I never played Titanfall 1, but I can I can definitely say that I will be playing Titanfall 2. Like, this is a game I feel like would be a lot of fun to stream with friends and, like, get in squads and stuff, that and Battlefield as well. But the battles in this game are just absolutely intense, man. Like, when I was going on kill streaks, like, my adrenaline was flowing. I was jittery in my seat. I was, like... It was it was feeling good. It was a ton of fun. And I mean, honestly, hey, call me a simple person, but that's what I look for in games is fun. And I had fun in Titanfall 2. Made a lot of friends. And uh, tell you what, I'm looking forward to like the next opportunity to play this game. Now, they said that the game's coming out like October 28th in that little intro clip I put in there. And uh, so basically what I want to know now is what do you guys think of what you've seen? What do you guys think of the footage, right? I can tell you being firsthand, epic time, epic time, right? And kind of like Battlefield 1 and Titanfall 2, and then there's a few other kind of like lesser known indie games, or not indie games, but maybe like smaller studios making FPSs on computer that I'm thinking about getting back into, like getting back into kind of FPS games on a regular basis. Um, that was just one of those things that I kind of stopped when I started my main channel and it kind of got into this war gaming niche. But I feel like now, you know, judging by the views and the response I got on the Battlefield 1 videos, that it would be kind of cool to see a little bit more, maybe on a weekly basis or, you know, maybe more often than that, maybe streaming it, I'm not entirely sure, but it's definitely, definitely something I want to check out more and play because it's fun for me. And really this whole YouTube and Twitch experience for me is trying to have more fun, right? So, I tell you what, it's an exciting time for me and my channel. 
and for video games in general like i feel really really rejuvenated really really excited for a lot of upcoming releases and i tell you what anything where you can have like this like super powerful vehicle that's that can be killed by infantry and can kill infantry that's that's a, a very compelling gameplay experience that i want more of and man i tell you what I had so much fun at this event. So anyway, do you guys what, what do you guys want to see next? Like more information on Titans, pilot versus pilots, maybe just single rounds that I've had and just see them like commentary, no commentary. Would you I could I could upload like kind of a raw footage with no commentary like over an hour. I've got tons of footage on this game. Like they we got to play I'd say I got to play maybe around somewhere between 10 to 20 games. And, uh, dude, so fun. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, my name is Baron. This was the Titanfall 2 multiplayer tech test. I had an absolute blast. Sometimes I got my ass kicked. Sometimes I was kicking the ass. The whole time I was having fun. Until that one game that Nacho meleeed me like eight times in the game. Damn it, Nacho. But that's what happens when you fight a uh, console FPS beast and you are many, many years rusty. But a lot of fun. Titans, dude. Frickin' Titans. Excellent work, everyone. Thank you.